Okay, elf. Hi, my loves. Welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Anushka. As you can tell from the title, today we're doing a full face of elf makeup. I've literally got everything and I've been dying to do this for like weeks now. So finally, I'm going to sit down, do your makeup. We've got like the rain pouring in the background, although I hope you guys can't hear it because that would be very distracting. But yeah, let's just jump straight into it. You guys know I always start with my brows. So I got the Instant Lift Brow Pencil in Deep Brown. I think this was like three pounds or something. It was so affordable. It's definitely on the thicker side for a brow pencil in my opinion, but we'll give it a go. As you can tell, it's like a crayon style pencil. It's not like a creamy, it's more like a chalky brow pencil, which to be honest, I prefer. Okay, can you guys see that brow? Okay, I am loving that. This is really good. Guys, can you see the brows? He even did my stubborn brow really well and I really like the shade. Now we're gonna go with the brow lift. It is really hit and miss with these kind of brow gels. Sometimes they're just like not strong enough. Sometimes they just a bit too wet and sometimes they just make your eyebrows look super shiny or they just don't hold well enough. It's like this clear gel. You need a spoolie with this. Oh, I think it's doing its job. If it can hold this stubborn brow in place, then it gets a pass from me. I think this was six pounds if I'm not mistaken. I was just really shocked by how affordable most elf products are like some of it was like four pounds three pounds no that is pretty good guys it does look a little bit shiny i don't know if you guys can see but usually when it does that i just put a little bit of powder towards the end like when i've finished my makeup but so far we're doing good i really need to moisturize my face right now so i'm gonna use Soft moisturizer. Okay, let's move on to face. I'm gonna use my Jelly Pop primer. I don't even know if they do this anymore, but it's so good. I really do hope, like, they if they don't do anymore, that they bring it back, because it's like, it's like stickiness in a bottle and hydration. I don't know why they stopped doing it, but like, okay, it's just so sticky, and then your just your makeup just like sticks to it. Then I'm gonna use the Elf Halo Glow Liquid Filter. I use the shade five in this. This stuff is so fun. Okay, you guys can see there's a nice glow, but I need a bit more coverage on my cheeks. So I'm going to go in with the C Camo CC Cream. Um, this one's in the shade Medium 335. It is a little bit my summer shade. I did try going in store and getting a hydrating version of this and like, you know, maybe a better shade match. I couldn't find it anywhere. Like, either the store didn't stock all my shades or I just couldn't find my shade. But I do know that e.l.f. has a pretty decent shade range. I used to be obsessed with this. Now I know why. It's really nice. Covered my scarring really well. Now I'm gonna go in with the hydrating camo concealer. It's in the shade medium beige. Okay, shade match. I'm gonna use a brush to blend that out. I've already used most of these products, so I know like they're bomb, but I never I don't think I've ever done like a full face of elf. Okay, this concealer sitting really nicely on my skin i really don't think i needed like that much product i do wish i got a lighter shade in the concealer because it's just about right like it's not giving like that brightening effect that i really like but honestly it's sitting beautifully so maybe i need to go grab a lighter shade in this elf putty bronzer you guys know i love this stuff this is in the shade bronzed bell very well loved i whenever i use these i like to use them with a stippling brush just blends really really nicely seen this everywhere on my fyp on tiktok i feel like my face needs a little bit of color if it wants to open what it looks like i'm just gonna start with a little bit is that a little bit i don't know because <laughs> i've seen that these are pretty pigmented i'm just gonna slowly blend my way through this and take my time okay it blended beautifully no wonder these get so much hype. Like it looks scary at first, but then it just blends so nicely into my skin. Now for the moment of truth, I'm gonna use the Halo Glow Setting Powder. I'm so like iffy about this, but because it has like a glow and I don't really use glowy powders to set my makeup anyways, let's give it a go. It says to pour the powder in the lid like this. Get some of my brush and then really press it under my eye. Ooh. Why did I doubt it? Okay, I need to see this up close right now. 
Okay, that's looking pretty good. Okay, elf. Okay, we can move on to eyes now. I'm gonna use the No Budge Cream Eyeshadow. I actually used the lilac one in a video once. I did like this eye, um, lilac eyeshadow look and this is an amazing base. So I wanted to see what like an everyday brown or taupey shade would look. This one's in a shade Sand Dune. Definitely darker than what I thought it would be. Um, I mean, it blended easily. I wouldn't say it's like my favorite shade, to be honest. And um, I, I went to like two or three stands and I couldn't find any eyeshadow palettes. So I was like, did e.l.f. stop doing the eyeshadow palettes? So I do have the e.l.f. Electric Mood palettes, but I don't know if they still do this. But there's a, like a taupe shade here called Latte. So I'm going to use this palette because de it's definitely like lighter. And like I said, I actually prefer these as a base than like to use them on their own. I'm actually going in with this shade right here called braided tress this is just to give like a little bit of depth on my outer corner i'm a bit meh about the eyeshadow right now now i'm going to try the elf expert liquid liner i don't know what the oh i love the brush like okay the brush looks decent okay wish me luck guys okay that applied just so effortlessly i have no complaints about that liner. i'm just going to clean it up then I'm just gonna curl my lashes. Then I'm gonna use the Lash and Roll Mascara. It literally looks like a benefit dupe. This is applying really nicely. It's like it's gripping the lashes really well. The only thing I would say is that it's really giving a lot of length and volume. Definitely the length's there, but yeah, it's not much volume. Meh, I just feel meh about it. Okay, we can finally go on to lip. I got this lip liner in the shade Moverside. I mean, it is a pretty decent deep shade, but unfortunately for my lips, it's just a no. Elf have been killing it with lip products, their lip oils, and now these like um, pens. With these pens though, you don't need a lot. It's like those MAC um, lip squirts. You don't need a lot, but it's so pretty. So I'm using the one in the shade Pinky Pout. So yeah, you just, this is what this shade looks like. It's stunning. And then you just click the product out. I do usually pair this with a lip liner, like a browner lip liner. But on its own, it's not too bad. And then to finish the look, I got this lip lacquer. I mean, just look at the glitter. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's so pretty. Okay, that was a little bit disappointing. I was expecting more glitter. Okay, that is my full face of Elf. I would definitely say the brow products really stood out to me. Sila, I'm definitely going to get a lighter shade in it. And the lip the pout clout lip plumping pen is like top notch on oh, the blush and the bronzer you guys know i love them the base products i feel like i need new shades because like they're too orangey for me definitely found some gems what do you guys think did you guys find this video helpful i do hope you did here's a little close-up for you guys all drugstore i wouldn't say it's too bad i really like the liner let me know what you guys think and have you tried any of these products before and if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel and yeah i will see you in my next video bye guys